While many 90 Day Fiancé cast members get their hero moments on screen, some claim their villain added is all thanks to being blindsided by producers. There have been quite a few stars viewers have come to loathe and don't want to see back on their screens ever again. A few have noticeably been a part of couples where one partner blindsided the other such as Big Ed Brown and Sumit Singh. However, there are some like Evelyn Villegas who only have the 90 Day Fiancé producers to blame for making them look evil or desperate or nothing like their real selves on reality TV. The most recent star to call out a 90 Day Fiancé producer for deceit was Evelyn during 90 Day Fiancé, The Other Way Season 3. The season started off with Evelyn forgiving Corey for having a fling in Peru when they were on a break after they hastily married. However, soon enough, viewers and even Evelyn seemed to realize there was more to the story. Evelyn claims she was told Jenny would only be a part of a video call. She explained, I trusted my last producer, and he completely blindsided me. Dot is for the Instagram stories posted by Evelyn, the 90 Day Fiancé producer was a very smart guy who made her weak husband Corey do things. Meanwhile, Stephanie Davison, who last appeared on 90 Day Fiancé season 8, also indulged in some producer bashing after she was uninvited from the anticipated reunion episode. Stephanie spilled her side of the story during her own version of a tell-all on Instagram where she confessed she and Ryan Carr were already broken up before they began filming. Amidst many other shocking revelations including the fact her relationship with cousin Harris was completely fake, Stephanie spoke about a producer who asked her to keep filming despite the Ryan split, after assuring her it would help grow her business. Stephanie called the team complete liars, said she dated men of all ages, and was never a cougar. Around October 2020, an insider claimed even Clegg of 90 Day Fiancé, the other way and her daughter Drusilla were difficult to work with. The crew apparently complained about Drusilla being uncontrolled and even causing constant interruptions during filming. They also said her lack of control sent the production that had traveled with her to Jihoon's home in South Korea into a tailspin. However, Devon defended herself and blamed TLC and the production crew for the way Drusilla behaved on 90 Day Fiancé. She alleges the producers constantly gave Drusilla a lot of sugar to make her look extra active. Much like Stephanie, Devon also wanted to reveal her truth and has announced a documentary with her new boyfriend Toffer Park which hasn't seen the light of day yet. Because of this, viewers are confused about whom to believe. They wonder why producers would make their own jobs challenging by indulging in such tactics to create entirely different personalities for these 90 Day Fiancé cast members. But then again, when it comes to reality TV, not everything is as it seems.